Hello, 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 welcome to Firearms of America and today we're doing review of this awesome Vortex Crossfire 2 rifle scope. Now, if you're one of those crazy in a rush YouTube people, here's how it looks during the day. This is the magnification at 2, this is the magnification at 7, this is how it looks during the night, this is how it looks with the water in the front of the scope, and this is how it looks with some sand in front of the scope. Okay, if you're considering to buy it, get it. Great buy. <laughs> All right, guys. Now that we're done with those crazy YouTube people who are always in a rush, uh, <laughs> let's do the rest of the review for people who don't have fire in their pants. Okay, so <laughs> this particular model of, as you know, you probably, if you, if you did already check on Amazon, if you didn't, the link is in the description below if you want to check it out. There are a lot of different models of this rifle scope and I think it's great, really, really good versatility. Now this particular model is 2 to 7 by 32. Um, now, you know, I, I don't want to offend anybody, if, if, but <laughs> in case if you're wondering, if, if, in case if you don't know, 2 to 7, the first two numbers, 2 to 7, it means it magnifies. Uh, from 2, power 2, to 7, all right? And the uh, next number, by 32, it means that the, the size of the front objective lens. And basically what it gives you, you know, the higher the number, typically the bigger uh, field of view you have. Now, this particular one is dead hold model. That's the name of their reticles and... Uh, now you, you can see how this reticle looks, this particular one, but they do have a, a few other ones. There's V-Plex and there's also Illuminated one, which honestly, I, <laughs> I will probably end up getting that one too with a little higher magnification, you know, just because, okay. <laughs> and, you know, to finalize with, with the specs, uh, I'll tell you, the, you know, the, the eye relief on this one is, I believe it's 3.9 or 3.8, so 3 inches, uh, about 4 inches uh, is, is the eye relief, so pretty good, I, I, I think I like it, uh, and you, you can get it at, at the higher eye relief number, it's, uh, I believe the highest model that they have is actually at 9 inches, so if you, if you have one of those uh, scout rifles, you probably would want to take a look at that one and, and not at this particular model. But, you know, bottom line is that if you, if you, whatever you're looking for, Vortex has you covered. Now, a little bit background about the company. Uh, Vortex, uh, there's a lot of, you know, controversion <laughs> whenever it comes to Vortex, just because their, their products are not made in, in America. They are made in China, and that's one of the things. They are great quality products. I do own a few of them. I have actually a red side from Vortex, uh, what is it, Strike Fire, yep, Strike Fire, uh, Red Dot System, uh, for my AR-15, and I also do have a magnifier from Vortex. Never had any problems with them, great quality, great build. Uh, a few complaints here and there whenever it comes to features, but really nothing related to the build quality. So the build quality is fantastic. Now they do advertise this particular scope as the aircraft grade <laughs> for the durability, but we'll see how it lasts. Uh, so far, no complaints. This particular one, this particular scope is actually my friend and he used it, uh, he said for about six months now, never had any problems. Um, the, the tube size, the standard tube size, just like most of the scopes is one inch. So really all you need to do is get the rings, the one inch rings, and that's it. You can mount it to your Picatinny rail or whatever mount you have for your, your rifle. You know, most of them are Picatinny rails. That's what my friend uses, but you know, my friend has, not uses, but. Uh, okay, so now this particular model, um, of the Vortex Crossfire 2. It comes with two different dials, two different adjustments, and uh, you can see they do have nice covers, just to make sure that you don't accidentally bump them. And you can actually adjust them with your bare fingers. I think that is great. Another thing that I think is fantastic, as you could hear, 
this yes yes it actually clicks whenever you spin it and i and i think that that is an awesome feature why because you know whenever you have just this screwdriver adjustment and and it doesn't actually click sometimes you do need to reset it to zero okay and and, and it becomes a little bit of pain you know you have to you have to you mess with, mess with it for a while <laughs> in order to get it back now with this one another thing that i really like that they did pay attention to which unfortunately they didn't in uh, my red dot system is that they actually specified this one is up and down so this particular dial is responsible for up and down and of course this one is going to be left and right which is the same way it is uh clickable there it is very nice i i really do like it now to adjust the magnification uh we do have the ring that is located over here and to spin it, it spins very nice. Unfortunately, that this one, as you can see right now, you know, the minimal setting is two, double magnification, and then the maximum setting we have is seven. All right? Now, with this one, unfortunately, you don't have it clickable. Uh, again, you know, probably you don't want it clickable you know if you want to you know change your magnification because you're not you're going to be mess with you're going to be messing with this more than with your you know dials up and down left and right so you probably don't want it clickable <laughs> i i personally would prefer it clickable i don't know i, I may be wrong you guys let me know what, what, what do you guys think would you prefer this clickable or not uh at least you know locking in place whenever you do it at three whenever you get to four uh, you have your focus over here, which works perfectly. Uh, I tested it at different magnifications, uh, you know, powers. Perfect. Okay, so a little bit back to the build quality. Um, glass, metal, the construction, everything, it feels rugged. Everything feels great. Uh, the only thing, the only thing that you, <laughs> you're going to have complaint about is this sticker, little, little sticker right there. Yep, that says made in China. <laughs> That's really it. Uh, if if that sticker said made made in, made in America, you know, made in the United States, uh, you wouldn't even notice that, you know, because honestly, the construction, the quality of build is amazing. I never had any problems with my red dot system either. Neither the magnifier, nothing. Okay, so now we get that 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 thing out of the way. Uh, <laughs> We got this bikini cover right here. Yep, yep, my favorite freaking bikini cover. Uh, nice to have. If, if this was my scope, I would probably have this already lost. But I got some good news. I'm going to attach the link in the description below. You can actually buy a separate flip-up covers for both of the sides. Like I said, I'll try to find them on Amazon and include the link in the description below. Make sure you know depending on which model you get because like i said this is 32 so this this uh this lens right here is 32 uh wait no not this one this one this one is 32 okay <laughs> uh they, obviously they have bigger ones with a bigger bigger field of sight if, if that's what you want so if you get that make sure that you know you you're getting the right covers for that because they have different sizes uh and really that's it that's that's really it um you know, I did my research on this and uh, the, the rifle that my friend is shooting is a, is a um, what is it, 308 Winchester? 308, I believe, let me double check. Yep, definitely 308 Winchester <laughs> that he is shooting. Um, never had any problems with uh, this scope messing up, getting out of place, but here's the thing. Again, uh, it kind of depends on the rings that you get. You know, so make sure you get the good quality rings. Vortex, they have their own rings. Honestly, I would recommend getting those because they are made by Vortex. For Vortex, just just makes more sense. Um, and that's really it, guys. The now the the scope it comes with this nice uh, wiping towel. All right, and really that's it. Now I kind of kind of wish it that they did offer uh, a scope together with the rings. But considering that there are different, you know, there's Picatinny types, there's, there's, there are a few other types for, 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 for rifles, uh, makes sense that they would actually make you buy, uh, buy those separately. 
Um, and all right, that's it, guys. That's 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 really all I have to say. Uh, if you are considering to buy this price-wise, I think this is pretty compatible. Now, this particular model, uh, it was $129. I think it is pretty competitive, pretty good price. Um, actually, it was $128.75, just to be specific. But they do have more expensive ones, you know, like the ones that are uh, illuminated. They have an illuminated reticle. Um, for example, the 3 to 9. Now, this one is 2 to 7. They have a 3 to 9 model uh by 50 so this 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 one is 32 and obviously 50 is going to be bigger with illuminated reticle uh that one is 209 if you're considering that also a pretty good one honestly uh, that's what i would get the illuminated one that one does have the battery that you have to use uh, but I think I think it's pretty good still you know if, you, if you're if you're hunting or doing something and, and your preference of time is you know a lower uh, lower light situations. I think that's that's something to consider and that's it guys promise this time That's it. <laughs> that's it with the review. The link is in the description below if you if this video was helpful Hit thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. This is you know a brand new channel. We're still growing uh, So don't forget to subscribe. Also, apparently we have a Facebook page where really all we do is just make fun of liberals That's it. So if you're into that hey in the description below. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.